How you doing everybody? Randy Richard in the shop. So I'm going to do a little catch up here. I uh, picked up some mail uh, while I was away fishing. And uh, I'll show you that. And it was an eBay purchase. Or not an eBay purchase. Actually, I, I bought a tool off of Facebook. And uh, Brian Stenga down in Louisiana sent me a, a little gift. So I'll <laughs> show you that one. A fun gift. So... I uh, might help in the shop with the bugs. And uh, we'll uh, see what else I uh, can wrangle up here. But anyway, this week I'm working on uh, what's in your toolbox uh, punches. And uh, a few of the guys have uh, stepped up and uh, are willing to uh, make some punches. And I, I need to I'll be giving them phone calls. And we'll get things set up, get some material sent out. And we'll get up right on this to hopefully get them done here in a couple weeks. And uh, that's, uh, that's where we're going with that. And um, uh, let's see, I'm looking around here and uh, not seeing uh, anything else right this minute. But uh, so uh, hopefully I'll be doing some machine. I'll be doing some machining uh, on the punches, on a few of the punches also. And uh, the other guys will, I know uh, one, uh, Brian Block, uh, he has a channel. Uh, his link's on my description and I'll put it in here. He does YouTube videos also. I'm not sure if the other guys are doing YouTube videos. But we'll put a, a Brian. He's going to, uh, he's willing to do some of the punch stuff. So we'll, uh, he'll, he'll probably shoot a little video in doing that. Anyway, uh, thanks you guys. And uh, thanks for watching. And we'll be on the new and better projects. I have some boring bars I've drawn up. Uh, more boring uh, uh, tooling I want to do. Because uh, I just... Hating buying this stuff. I sometimes I'm just not happy with some of the stuff I've bought, and I'm just going to make my own. Uh, so I've got some uh, other tooling for the boring head thing I'm going to do. Anyway, uh, we'll be talking to you, and thanks again for watching, and thanks for all the new subscribers and everything, and I really appreciate it. And uh, uh, we'll be home for a little bit, and we'll be uh, getting a lot of machining done. So, all right, thanks you guys. We'll see ya. So my friend Brian there, uh, Stanga, down in Louisiana, uh, sent me a little note. He expects to see these hanging in the shop. Some uh, fly ribbon. <laughs> there we go. So we're gonna we're gonna hang some of these up. We still got the, the flies and bugs. They're still going, and it's still hot, and. Thank you, Brian. I think this is enough to last a little while. But we're going to hang a pile of these up, and we're going to see what happens. We're going to test this product out on very small little flies, face flies and such. Uh, these are non-poisonous. Non it will probably kill the flies uh, anyway. And uh, uh, no vapors, so we won't smell it. These are made by Pick pick fly ribbon so we're gonna we're, <laughs> we're gonna give him a try uh brian does uh, youtube videos also and uh, please visit his channel and uh check uh check brian out and he's doing some machining down there in louisiana so uh thank you brian uh, uh what a fun thing here to try out <laughs> uh i haven't tried these so we'll give them, we got, we got lots to hang up that might last a couple of years. Uh, we kind of seem to have a fly season, you know. So uh, thanks again, Brian, and uh, I'm going to get them hung up and you'll be, you'll probably be seeing them in the video. I made a purchase uh, off of Facebook from a fella. Uh, Christopher Boyce uh, sells some tools, I guess. And uh, this is a... Well, this is actually, uh, this is an insertable drill. It's from Allied Machining and Engineering. Uh, so they make a lot of boring and drilling uh, tooling. And this one will take uh, 31, 31 32nd inserts up to 1 and 3 eighths inserts. So you can get inserts that will, you know, cover that range, which is pretty nice. So it's one drill, but you just change your inserts uh, for different sizes. Now this one can take coolant. It has a eighth inch pipe tapped hole right here. 
this is a uh, here you sent a couple of inserts with it a couple of inserts right here these are uh, C2 uh, carbide uh, TIN coated inserts you can get different geometries and different coatings and different grades of carbide now C5 C2 and um, uh, I think there was some, a couple others, but you can get different stuff I mean, for cast iron uh, grade also. So uh, this has the uh, inch and a quarter straight shank on here with a with a flat. Uh, so what I'm going to do with this, okay, so you're kind of probably asking how am I going to use that? Well, uh, I don't have an inch and a quarter uh, for like the mill. I don't have an inch and a quarter end mill holder uh, that would... That would work uh, really nice on the on the mill uh, to to use there. Uh, so I, I'm gonna look into getting an inch and a quarter end mill holder. The largest one I have is uh, one inch, and uh, then I could use this in the mill real nicely. But on the lathe, um, I'm a, I have a Morris tapered number three. You can see this is a straight fluted one um, right there. Uh, on the lathe, uh, Morse tapered number three on my tailstock. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make an adapter uh, for this uh, and bore it out to inch and a quarter, a couple set screw flats to slip it into, and Morris tapered number three on the end. Uh, that's what I'm going to do with that. And so it's a really it'd be very versatile for me. Uh, I can use it all. Be able to use it on the lathe or on the mill. Uh, now you could inject air down here. You can inject coolant down here. Uh, to blow chips out uh, so uh, I really uh, I liked uh, what uh, Pierre showed using uh, uh, one he had uh, in one of Pierre Beaudry that is uh, check his channel out up in Canada showed using one I go yeah that'd be pretty slick and so uh, Chris had one of these on for sale on Facebook and uh, thought it was a fair price so I picked it up from Chris and uh, thank you uh, Chris again uh, and everything for sending this on. Uh, uh, it's, uh, it's in really good shape. It almost looks like it's never been used. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna put it to use and uh, fix up a, a mount for it. Uh, uh, so I'll probably be uh, getting that machined here this week. It'd be a good holder. And oh, you could also put the coolant in on the end if you wanted to. But um, on, if I was going to use this on a lathe, I would come in here, which would be very handy for me. Just right there, it's all out exposed and not going running it through the tailstock. Very handy for me. And uh, I could do that. All right. Uh, so that's going to be a fine addition uh, to the shop here. I just thought I'd show you some couple things here uh, something never to do so this is a choker cable uh, it has the like, double chokers on one of two, two uh, sockets there and you can see how the ends have this swaged fitting on the end of the cable okay so some moron thought he would uh, do it differently so he put a shackle and tied a knot overhand knot uh, through the shackle with the end of the cable so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna fix try to fix this cable up now all we're doing with it is we're just gonna be dragging some logs we're not gonna be lifting logs but so what I've done I did here so what I've done is here so if you can get that see that there that is I served the end uh, with some stainless steel uh, 032 wire. Uh, so I wrapped the end before I cut it. This will stop it from, so it won't unravel on you. Otherwise the cable can splay out, right? This way, before I work on it, then I'll undo it. But that, that will hold it uh, closed up. So I cut it off with just a, a pneumatic grind, uh, cutoff wheel. And I cut off. Sorry, I'm doing all this handheld. And I cut off this end here, the swaged end. And now I'm going to cut off the knot so I can get the shackle out. It's a good shackle. Uh, 
but don't ever tie a knot in a cable. It just, it totally ruins the cable. If you, I, I, even if you're able to undo this, the cable will be ruined. I, you'd have to fix this anyway. So, uh, other than strength reduction and all that issues, uh, something not to do.